was a picture-perfect day for football in Norfolk yesterday, the annual blue-white spring game for Old Dominion. What will Coach Bobby Wilder's team look like now without Taylor Heineke at quarterback? Hello, I'm Nathan Epstein. Now, Heineke, the school's all-time leading passer, has graduated, now pursuing a pro career. So, there's a new face throwing the ball, but a familiar one running it. Back to SB Ballard Stadium, a great crowd to see the team's annual scrimmage. Third play right out of the gates. Here's what they saw. Ray Lowry, the Conference USA Rookie of the Year last season, all the way home. Ten rushes for 65 yards, and then less than a minute left in the game. Lowry with the game winner, his second score of the day. He rushed for over 1,000 yards and 16 touchdowns as a freshman last year, and he says he's ready to take a step up along with the offense. I think I improved uh, a lot since last year, uh, especially mentally. You know, I know the plays a lot more than last year. I matured a lot. But uh, physically, I got a lot bigger and faster on all season, so we'll see what, what happens this season. We need to feature him more, and Coach Scott and the offensive staff have added more to our run package. We're playing more with a tight end now, which allows you to have more run plays. Now we've got an ability to run seven or eight different run plays with tight end sets, so it'll help our quarterback situation, help them develop. Whoever's in there is a young guy, and it should help our defense as well. Okay, so Wilder said whoever the quarterback is, but I think we can assume the offense is in this man's hands. Redshirt freshman Schuler Bentley, who's had a great spring, but he took a while to get going yesterday. First quarter, ball batted and then intercepted by Martez Simpson. But here he is in the second quarter. Nice zip to Zach Pascal. Touchdown, and Bentley threw for over 240 yards, two touchdowns of the day. Now, Heineke was at the game, and he says he's excited to see what lies ahead for Bentley. Oh, I know when he first got here, he was something special. Uh, again, we, we, you know, he was handed the offense, the playbook, and uh, he knew almost 100% of it after about two and a half weeks, three weeks. And, uh, you know, that was a lot quicker than from when, from my, uh, how I did it. And um, I didn't really get to the end of my freshman year, and he had it before it, camp was over. So I knew from that point he was a very smart quarterback, and he has the ability to be great. And um, I'm really excited for him to watch the next four years starting here. Three more spring practices left for the Monarchs, and they're off until fall camp, which starts in August.